Hi everyone, today Erin and I are going out and doing some fun things. So I think I'm just gonna take you along with us today. We're gonna do like a fun little weekend vlog. So we're gonna go out and have lunch with a friend, but we're also going to be doing some shopping. I think we're gonna go to the mall and then we're also gonna go to H Mart, which is always really exciting. And afterwards I'll do a little haul as well. because I think that'll be nice. And for those of you who don't have an H Mart around you, you can kind of like live vicariously through this. And I'll take you along with us as we go along on our adventures today. So we just had lunch with our friend and it was very good. We went to this nice Korean restaurant. The food was very good. And that's one thing I do miss about us living kind of like in the city. We used to live in like the Northern Virginia area. That's kind of like where we are right now. And I just miss all of the nice restaurants around here. There are not really a lot of good places to eat where we live to be really honest. We've tried a few and we just haven't really liked them and we just miss all of the good restaurants that are in cities. So every time we visit like Northern Virginia we make sure we eat at some nice places. The restaurant we went to by the way if there's anyone who is from this area I know a few people have commented they're actually from Virginia in like a very similar location to where we are. So the restaurant we went to is called Lighthouse Tofu. They have two locations. One's in Annandale and we went to the one in Centerville and I think it goes by like the Korean version of the name so it's called Bitgo Tofu. Sorry I don't know how to say it but it's Lighthouse Tofu. It's really really good but also if you're from this area you probably know there's a lot of good Korean restaurants here so but just if you're interested that's where we went and our friend was a little late getting to lunch so we actually went to like an Asian supermarket that was in the same like shopping center area. We've never been there before. It was called Lottie and it was really nice. It was kind of just like an H Mart. So we had kind of like a precursor to our H Mart shopping trip, which we're still going to go to. And there's also a 99 Ranch in this area. So we might be hitting up three Asian supermarkets in one day. Is that necessary? Like definitely not, but we might still do it anyway because that's what we like to do. Yeah, we still got a lot of shopping ahead of us. Aaron is at Guitar Center right now because he always needs to check in and see what there is going on and I have to stay in the car while he goes to take a look because I'm very full from lunch and I'm digesting right now. And then I think next we're going to get some bubble tea. We're both kind of sleepy right now so we need some caffeine to wake us up and then we're going to go to the mall. I think we're just going to go to Sephora just to take a look at things and honestly I have like the best husband because he actually looks forward to going to Sephora. He really enjoys like going to the fragrance section and trying out all of the different fragrances he's trying to find one that he likes enough to like purchase one um, so yeah he really likes to go to Sephora which is awesome for me so yeah that's what we're gonna do next what'd you get strings uh-huh trench cables what are those for 
my new Earthquaker pedal because the input jacks are too close together. My old pancake heads don't work. What are these words you're saying right now? These are not real guitar words. Pancake style jack head. <laughs> What'd you get? Brown sugar. <laughs> Describe your drink. Brown sugar. Got the goods. I got the classic order, which is a black milk tea, 50% sugar, less ice. Aaron likes to go crazy with it. Go oh, ham. You got a, what did you get? Brown sugar, large, of course, bubbles, half ice, half sweet. Okay, we'll be caffeinated for the next three hours of shopping. <laughs> nice. I flinched a little. <laughs> yeah, you did. Oh, did I say I got grass jelly in mine? I don't remember. Grass jelly, you can't even see it. It's the way to go. Boom. Okay. Mmm. That's really good. <laughs> We're finally home. It was a really long day, so I'm just going to do a quick little haul of what we got. Um, I'm calling this an H-Mart haul, but some of it's from the other market as well, but I mean, they're basically the same thing. First off, we got a lot of ramen. We've been on a maybe not so good ramen kick lately, especially at night when we're hungry. Um, Aaron picked out these four ramen flavors, I mean, this is nothing special. You can get it at an American supermarket. Um, but they I've never seen this one in my life. Yeah, they do have different flavors there. And it's fun because they have them all separate and you can just like pick and choose. Um, so yeah, he chose those ones. <laughs> then we also got um, the Sapporo Tonkatsu Ramen and a 10-pack. I also picked these. Okay, we both picked these. We got a 10-pack of Shin because we... I gotta get a try. What are you talking about? You think I've never had Shin Ramen before you? Are you kidding me? Shin Ramen's um, our favorite, so we got a 10 pack of those. I also got some dried noodles as well um, so that we can use them if I do like a homemade ramen or noodle bowl. This is slightly healthier, I think, because these noodles are not fried. They are dried. Aaron uh, <laughs> pointed out that they just have this like label maker label on top of here, which is very legit question mark <laughs> moving on Aaron picked out some Cafe Du Monde coffee because he wants to make a Vietnamese style coffee which is Cafe Du Monde or like something with chicory I think that gives it that special flavor and then you mix it in with condensed milk so he's gonna do that he also picked out some ginseng ginger tea this is just something you mix with water Oh my gosh, you're really about the drinks. You also got two beers. <laughs> you love your drinks. Love you just got these two beers. And then also, I guess, drink related, we got this huge bag of roasted barley, which you use for making tea. And you can have this hot or cold. I've really been enjoying it hot in the winter, but now that we're going into summer, I think I'm gonna make this, keep a picture of it cold in the fridge. For the summer, it'll be nice and refreshing. Mm -hmm. I did not realize Aaron picked such a big bag of this. This is four pounds of roasted barley. Value. Yeah, I re I meant for him to get the smaller bag, but this is what happens when you don't watch <laughs> what he's doing. <laughs> Next, we got a lot of seafood, I guess. We've been eating a lot of seafood. So we got this frozen salted croaker. We went to a restaurant recently where they had some, like, basically fried, I think it was salted as well, croaker. So I wanted to try and make this at home. These ones looked good. I, I liked how they were packaged with two fish because that's perfect for us. And they were on a really good sale too. Then I got this package of salmon bones. 
just like salmon scraps basically and I usually get this when we're at H Mart because it's such a good price. There's still a lot to pick off of that and then I give the whatever's left over to the chickens and they love it as well and it's really good for them. And then last seafood thing, I got some frozen squid rings and tentacles. I'm gonna use this to make Korean seafood pancakes and also to put in seafood stews. We've been really enjoying like spicy seafood stews. So I can use that for that. We're a big seafood house if uh, you haven't learned from our other videos. Yeah, we basically only eat seafood now, <laughs> which is awesome. Um, and then I got some soon tofu. This is just extra soft tofu to make sundubu. Uh, the Korean restaurant we went to today was a sundubu restaurant or like that's their specialty. Um, so I'm gonna make some of that at home too. Then we got some scallions and then I got some mung bean sprouts. So that's it, that's the whole haul. It's just like a lot of ramen and like seafood and that's pretty much it. Tea's good. Good. All right guys, that's gonna be it for this video. We are both exhausted from the day and I'm just laying here on the floor. I don't know if anyone else does this, but like anytime we're out for like a long day, especially if we've been sitting in the car a lot or walking a lot, like we just come home and we just like collapse on the floor. It just like feels really good on your back and to like stretch out your body. So I'm just gonna lay here for a minute and then maybe make some ramen for dinner. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and just shopping with us, I guess, today. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again in the next one.